Hello there and welcome to my channel if you are new or welcome back if you are back. Either way, thank you so so much for clicking on my video today. Uh, my name is Rabbit and my pronouns are they them. And um, today's video was basically... Okay, so <laughs> for a while there I was like watching, like I binged all of Bunny Bun's content on YouTube. I'll link them below. They're an amazing channel. Very like cute, creepy, like creepy cute pastel um, Marut is the word that I learned recently. It's like morbid cute um, kind of aesthetic and it was just like super super inspirational and I went through all their content and it's all watched now which is so sad. I hate when you run out of content that you love but regardless it made me really inspired to do um, some kind of furniture DIYs. Not like build furniture because I can't, it's not I have no, not for me, um, but just like customizing um, some stuff that I did have. Um, my boyfriend and I tend to get a lot of like wood pieces from the thrift store and stuff and I feel like this video might be really really painful for people who like love wooden furniture and it's like beautiful like un, like messed with state so like if that's you please don't watch this it's just gonna make you mad um and also like some of this I feel like people might be like this is really tacky or like whatever that's fine. I. I like it and I think it's cute even though it is tacky but I think it's tacky in like a cute way so whatever. Um, regardless this video is going to be basically like a tutorial for how I made two of the um, shelves as like an example and then I'll just like show you guys the rest of the furniture I made um, and go through it but um, if you want to skip to just like the DIY part I'll leave the timestamps below um, but yeah so this is one of the shelves that I will show you like from start to finish how I made on camera. Um, I really really like it. I'll go through it in a sec and then the other one that I will show is behind me. Oh my god, I tried to like, oh, I broke a little spike off of it. Tisk tisk. But the other one is this one. Okay, I will fix that when I get around to it. But, okay. <sighs> Sorry. Alright, um, so let's start by just like going through... I'll, I'll just like really briefly go over this one since you will see the video of it from start to finish. Alright. So if you look, it has like um, pink paint. This is like all leftover paint from painting um, our house recently. It has like some black lace, um, these like handmade eyeball charms. Um, they actually glow in the dark. Um, the teeth I also made, they're out of clay and they glow in the dark. And I have like a little rat on a doily and like just like some cute little like beads and decorations and bats and stuff and like some pearls. Um, at the top. Uh, I think it's really cute. This was the second one I made, I think, and uh, I'll show the before picture, of course, uh, and like the side by side of the after, but I really, really like this one. Um, it hangs kind of across from my bed, so when I go to sleep, I can just see like the three glowing eyeballs and then like the circle of teeth, and it just, it, I think it's so cool. I love it so much. I really like that it glows in the dark, even though the glow in the dark, um, clay isn't like as white as like white clay so it's like a little bit yellowish but I think it adds to the creepy element of like yellowish teeth and yellowish eyes and stuff so it all works out. The other one I'll just mention really briefly is this one um, and it's also got lace but it's like pastel blue and it's got these plastic bones with like little bows on it. It's got a little um, bat friend. I painted these spider webs. This was the very first one I made, or not made, I keep saying made, but it's like I only customized it and I don't want to get the wrong impression. But regardless, this is the other one, uh, or like the first one that I did and I also filmed this one, I believe. So yeah, I think it's really, really cute. Um, it's a lot simpler than some of the ones that I did later, but it's a good one in my opinion. Next, okay, this, you guys, uh, this one I didn't film the making of, but you can kind of like get the idea. I'll go into detail though of everything I did in case you're like interested in inspiration or something. Uh, but okay, the story behind this is that when we first got uh, my beautiful cat Tuna, um, we got, we had this like crib from uh, the thrift store that was like wooden and it was like the perfect size for her. But since she got bigger, I thought that like she was too big for it. So I was like, I'll just decorate this and like fill it with my craft supplies. And after I decorated it, Cage was like, let's see if she likes it. And <laughs> she actually does. So I'll show a little video, but it's like the cutest stuff in the world. Like I literally can't believe um, she's adorable in this thing and I'm just obsessed with it. So I'll show you the two sides are the same, uh, like the front and the back, but they have like this lacy ruffle with a bow in the center and like a little ghosty 
it's a just like a sequin um like a dollar at the dollar store around halloween you can find a lot of cool confetti um with like ghosts and gravestones and spider webs and stuff like that so like this is what that little ghost is from um and then the bone is also from the dollar store around halloween i just got like a little plastic bag of bones and it has come in handy many a time um i also just painted this with the same pink paint that is all over my house and such and inside i just have um this kind of gross um, blanket that I knitted for Tuna forever ago. And then I'll show you guys this side. This was the first side I decorated and I wasn't really in love with it. I think I like the other side better, but um, I've kind of, it's kind of grown on me. I might turn the light down because I think it's like overexposed. Okay, so I painted the spider webs on. This was a plastic spider that was originally orange and I just um, painted it black, put these little safety pins on there. Um, there's this bow with like a little dagger charm. Got this um, with like a bunch of other sword and dagger charms um, online. Uh, more bones, more little ghosties. These are some spikes, like the ones that you put on clothes. I just um, glued them on. These um, skeleton hands I got um, recently online in like a bag. I also made a necklace out of one. There we go, yeah. Um, it's just like a little skeleton hand charm. And I kind of wanted to place them around the heart like they're holding the heart almost. And then these are actually pieces of confetti from the dollar store. And then I put like this little rosy charm. On the other side, I have these Karomi stickers. These ones I got in a pack um, from AliExpress. It was like a pack of like 50 or something for like a dollar or something ridiculous like that. Um, and I've used them in a couple of these and I think that they just are really cute and suit it really well. And um, these little things, I don't know if it's backwards because the camera but says creepy cute um, in these little like heart shaped um, letter beads. And I put a pink um, frilly kind of design. Um, this does have a crack in it, but I honestly think it kind of adds to the creepy aesthetic. This was cracked before I painted it. I added some little clusters of bats on both sides. These are, um, again, confetti from the dollar store. Put a little upside down um, star charm, black bow, and this little tooth that I made out of clay. And I think it looks really cute. Oh yeah, and then above I put a bone, like a little plastic bone from the dollar store with a bow on top and like a little pearl in the center as like a cute little detail. And Tuna loves this thing. She sits on it all the time. It like lives on our coffee table now and she just sits in it while we watch TV unless she's sitting on my lap because she loves to sit on my lap while I'm trying to eat dinner. It's like her favorite freaking thing. Uh, but this is also one of her favorites because she loves to sit in boxes. So I'm really, really happy that she likes it and she has a new cute place to hang out. Sorry, I rambled on so long for that one. I don't know, it's gonna be, it's gonna be rambly. Um, unless I'll give you a sneak peek of two that I'm gonna actually make a separate video on because they're like a little bit different um, than this one. So sneak peek really quick. A, ooh, a sign, a Beetlejuice sign with an underrated favorite character of mine. Could it be? It could, video coming soon. Sorry, I suck at like promoting, I don't know. I'm also like terrible for sitting on videos forever and like not publishing them, so please don't yell at me if it comes out like way later than this one. And then other sneak peek. Ooh, little spooky jewelry box. Ooh, spooky ladies. Okay, that'll be coming soon. Um, I'll link it below when it's up eventually. But regardless, <laughs> more DIY furniture. I just figured I'd like throw it in. Um, but back to the pastel stuff, because this one's next. And if you've seen my videos in my old apartment, I used to sit in front of this thing all the time, but it used to just be plain wood. And all my custom dolls that are now behind me, they would sit on this, except um, now I get to have them all together, like the whole family on one big desk. So it's very exciting for me. And I really, really like how this turned out. I just put a bunch of random knickknacks on it now. Uh, but let's go through what's on it. So starting at the top, um, the banisters were pretty cracked and I thought it'd be cool to add this like spiderweb ribbon over it. I think I got it at the dollar store around Halloween last year. This is where I love to get craft supplies, as you can tell. Um, and then I have a plastic bat um, that I just put like a little bow on. These um, bats on the side, like the little ones, um, used to be these like Halloween rings, like you know the plastic ones that you get at the dollar store. Um, and I just painted them with like a little bit of silver. And um, I put little heart beads and little spikes. Um, and then down the sides, I put these um, porcelain doll hands that were from like these Christmas angels situation. And then next to them, I put like a little 
ghosty charm and underneath all of this I actually put like a pink satiny ribbon I thought it would like be a cute little detail and then on this side I put another one of my pastel clay eyeballs on like a bow this is kind of inspired by those like scene kids when they would wear those like bows with the eyeballs in their hair yeah that's like what this is inspired by and I have like a little um what is this gingham a little gingham bow it's pretty cute and then more painted spider rings more plastic bones more little bows, bows layered on bows, Karomi stickers, little um, plastic beads around the heart. I put a little bow and a rose on top of um, this bone at the bottom and then I made a bunch of white teeth um, to put around the sides and I also like kind of stained the top of them with like a little bit of red paint. You could also use blush um, but I like it looking like they just got ripped out almost um, and then I have like kind of a crying Karomi on this side and kind of a mischievous looking Karomi on this side and yeah this one's like pretty symmetrical I think it looks really pretty I think most of them are fairly symmetrical that's usually a design element I enjoy but you could also do this scattered also like I want to say if pastel goth isn't your thing but you like like dark spooky things you could totally do this in all black you could do this if your thing is all orange and black like Halloween you could do it in that if you don't like gothy things you could do um butterflies or fairies or crystals or like whatever you want to do um this is just kind of inspiration for gluing stuff on furniture maybe you have but um you want to decorate some more um or maybe it was just i had a lot of halloween leftovers that i was like i want to use these up so it was a good um <laughs> It was a good use of them. Also, I want to give a shout out to two creators that I want to say inspired this video. So two other creators that I wanted to mention are that inspired this particularly are Plastic Rabbit. They had like a doll core vintage kind of room tour and they did um, like lace on the shelves and that's what kind of inspired me to do the lace on the shelves. And then the other one was um, Voltaire, Lara Voltaire, um, his Apothecary cabinet. It's so, so beautiful. You guys should check out that video if you're interested. I'll link both of these guys below, both of these people below. Um, but yeah, his is like so beautiful and super, super more like dark, classic, gothy, vampire-y, beautiful wonderfulness. Um, so if you're more interested in that aesthetic, totally check out that. And especially because he's a lot more like professional, like with me, I'm using a lot of just like hot glue and like um, dollar store plastic stuff um which i think is fun but like a lot of people don't like that and if you don't that's fine no one's forcing you to but what should i call it but yeah layer voltaire is like much more um professional in that sense maybe okay cool next is this okay this is so fun because this was originally um my old boss from when i worked at the yoga studio cafe place gave this to me and it was like a jewelry hanger it still is a jewelry hanger but now it's a pink decorated one um so i'll start with the top and honestly okay so i put a little bride of frankenstein sticker up here that i got from michael's um around halloween um homestubber i originally wanted to put this really gorgeous sticker that my boyfriend gave me for my birthday where is it it's like this gorgeous star lady he gave me so many pretty stickers for my birthday, but originally I wanted to put this one up here um, like this because it would fit perfectly and just like look so gorgeous. Um, the artist, by the way, is Tom Tattoos. The series is Strange Magic. Let me just show you guys real quickly. Sorry, um, getting distracted, but regardless, um, I was originally going to put that one up, but because of um, the fact that the jewelry display usually sits on my desk like where I can't see the top of it. Because this is such a beautiful piece of art, I didn't want to put it on a spot that I would never see, so I'm still waiting to find a better spot where I can like see this more often. But yeah, I love this guy's art. I was so thankful. Um, it was like such a nice gift from Cage. Um, Y'all should check this person. Uh, this person's art out. But regardless, I was gonna put that sticker on, but I decided I wouldn't see it as much, so I just put this one on, and the reason I needed to put a sticker on top, or not like needed to, but wanted to, was because there's like a screw that holds all the centerpiece together at the top here, so that's what that's covering up. And then around the top layer, I put all these little um, plastic bats um, that used to be on those like plastic Halloween rings, and I did just like paint them with like a little bit of silver paint, and then put little um, gemstones, like dollar store pearls, on um like between them and then on the next layer i put these little plastic bones also from the dollar store halloween and then these little kind of purpley gems that were from the dollar store not at halloween and then the bottom i think is super super cute um because it spins like this yeah okay um so i put all these different karomi stickers 
and I think all of them are like so adorable in their own way um, but I also put like these little like pearly sticker details and more spiderweb um, confetti these little gemstone hearts that I originally used for a clown look so they have like makeup all over the bottom of them and I didn't want to reuse them for makeup so I figured I'd use them in this um, more little bat um, sequins around and yeah again you can tell I like the symmetrical look I think this is so so freaking cute and it looked good in wood color but I just I love it now the only thing is this one sticker maybe more than one sticker has been peeling so I might have to go with like a layer of Mod Podge over it regardless really really happy with how my jewelry stand turned out and like all my jewelry and stuff looks so cute in the bed like everything like all pink and black together I'm really loving it okay this one i did today so originally i only painted this pink and then i was like that's not enough because i originally was like it's it's fine but then i was like no i don't want to call it a day i want to um do more so i did that this morning um so i put black and pink stripes on the top just put pieces of tape to make the lines nice and clean and i also put black and pink stripes on the bottom I just used acrylic paint um, for the black, um, and I used a felt tip marker to draw these little spider webs in the corner. This is definitely inspired very much by Voltaire's um, Apothecary Cabinet. And then on this handle, A, I painted all the hardware silver. It was originally gold, um, but I hanged, I hung this little bat charm. I think he's so freaking cute. And on the chain, I put all these little star sequins. So it just kind of looks like extra magical, um, I thought. Um, I did put like a big, whoop. I did put a big sword charm in the center of the cabinet. I think that looks really cool. And I used a silver metallic marker from the dollar store to make these moons and just kind of sporadic um, star shapes. I drew this um, bat on the top originally with a pencil and then just sketched it in with some black acrylic paint and then I nailed a little nail in the top this morning and hung this little bat off it. This originally was on a piece of jewelry but it broke off um, and I was gonna use it for another piece of jewelry but I thought it would look really cute here as like hanging down because um, this this one where it sits it's kind of like you can see it from above so you'll be able to see kind of like that is the perspective you'll get. Um, and I think it looks so freaking precious. Um, I might add some more to it. You'll definitely see that in my um, upcoming house um, move-in vlog, renovation, tour, whatever. Um, so if I do edit any more of these more, edit, like modify any more of these more, um, you'll definitely see it there. But for now, I'm very happy with the current um, modifications I've done. Oh, and then this, okay. So if you watched one of my old Halloween hauls from 2021, maybe? I don't know. Um, either way, I found this um, coffin on Facebook Marketplace. And originally, I just painted it black. So originally, there was um, like a purple and black cat fabric up here. I'll probably put a picture of it. Um, but it didn't match the pink and black in the room. So I decided to um, change it. So now this fabric matches um, my jewelry uh, or like my earring holder that I re upholstered by just putting like this piece of fabric over it um so it's got pink velvet in the back which i think is like very appropriate for a coffin like to have velvet um it's got little pink spiders on the top of it they are those rings from halloween that are orange but i just painted them pink there is some bows with a little heart and a um spider web in the center um, then we have a little pink bat. I just painted this one from the dollar store. I think he was originally black or gray, um, but I painted him pink and put a little bow on him. And then on the bows, I stuck a little ghosty sequin. And then we've got more plastic stars. Um, and then on the sides, I used this, um, like tool fabric kind of that I find at the dollar store every year. Usually they do it in different colors like gold one year, silver the next year. So last year was silver and I thought it would look cool down the side. It looks like a little bit corny, I'm not gonna lie, but I, I, I'll keep it for now. And then down here I put just like a bone, like a little bat sequin, some bows with pearls, and this little, um, it just says, what does it say again? Stay spooky, maybe? Yeah, it says stay spooky at the bottom um, with those little heart-shaped um, letter guys. 
And then I have more of those um, Halloween rings that I've painted silver that have bats on them. And I just think it looks super, super freaking cute. So that's for all the things that I could move. Um, then for things that I couldn't really move, but I'll just show you really quickly. And I didn't do much to this one. This one was just um, a shelf from my mom and I asked her if I could repaint it. She said yes, which was very nice. So this was originally a wooden shelf and well, yes, it's still a wooden shelf, but now it's pink. And sneak peek of these guys, um, some of my stuffed animals that I have created and will be making a um, video on soon. Again, not created from scratch, but like modified. Also, these guys that are in the making. Sneak peek if anyone's interested. But okay, anyway, back to the furniture. So yes, this used to be wooden and brown and now it's wooden and pink and I think it looks really cute. And then in the bedroom, I also repainted um, my childhood mirror that my dad actually made me um, when I was like very young. And it was so funny because it was wood when I painted it, but when I was painting over it, I realized, because it still had like some of the old colors that it had been, um, oh, chimba. Uh, but it had some of the old colors that it had been and there was still like leftover green paint from when it was green and purple paint from when it was purple And it was just like so funny to like see those phases of myself to be like at one point It was when I was in my like purple 14 year old goth phase and at one point it was when I was like green Hippie phase and then it was like wooden natural like whatever and now it's like pink and I drew these little spider webs on the top of it and I finally got around to replacing the mirror um, this is like a mirror up here originally um, I just, it was on the ground forever and I finally glued it back. Uh, but I love this mirror so much. I love it. I'm very, very happy with the furniture that I have done. Okay, ignore the mess on my desk. Look at Looney. She's the best. I'm obsessed with her. Oh my god, she's a little old man. So that's the mirror. And now if you are interested in the DIY part, I will finally get around to showing how I DIY'd. Um, sorry if that took forever. Hopefully you've skipped it if you weren't interested in it. But regardless, onto the actual DIY, how I made these two shelves and kind of extrapolating, you can figure out how I made the other stuff because it's like the same technique, just a different layout essentially. Okay, so let's get onto that. All right, so step one is to apply the first layer of base paint. You can use whatever paint you want. Like I said, I'm using some leftover house paint just because I had a bunch of it um, around, but normally I'd use like acrylics or something like that. Um, just going over, it doesn't really matter what the first layer looks like. You can make it pretty messy. And once it's done and dry, I'll just add a second layer so it's nice and opaque. Then I'm going in with some black acrylic paint and a really thin paintbrush and just drawing in three lines um, in each corner. I'm trying to draw some spider webs. I was watching a Maddie Danger video recently and I think they said it perfectly when they said like spider webs are an awesome design element because they're not very difficult to do. They don't have to look perfect and they always look pretty cool. So I agree with them. I think spider webs are always a great design element and um, yeah so I add one on each side. It's also probably easier to do it with Sharpie but for my first one I used a paintbrush uh, but a Sharpie probably gives you a little more control. You can always sketch out the design if you are very nervous about it not working out. Next, I am using my hot glue gun to just apply some little drops of hot glue throughout it um, to apply this lace. Got this lace from the thrift store, and it's just like this nice um, light blue. Just using a couple of little spots of glue to keep it in place um, all around the edge. The reason I like to use hot glue is because I tend to change my mind a lot with design elements, and hot glue is very nice and like non-permanent in the way that you can peel it off and replace it, and it doesn't do a lot of damage. But if you're looking for something with more staying power, you can probably use like a super glue or an epoxy or something like that. Anyway, then I'm attaching this plastic bat uh, that I just got from the dollar store around Halloween in the center of the shelf. I think it looks like a cute little extra 3D spooky element. And I'm making some little satiny bows because I think it would be cute to have like a little bone up top with a bow on top of it. Anyway, um, I'm again using my hot glue to just add two little dots and stick it in the center of the shelf. And since I didn't plan out the design beforehand, I'm always making sure to just like pick it up and look at it at eye level and make sure that I like where the design is going. And if I don't, I can just pick off the stuff with hot glue and start over. Anyway, then I attach my little satin bow in the center and I wanted to use more bones to make it like a little more symmetrical. So I'm going ahead in with those. Again, they were just from that bag from the dollar store around Halloween. Halloween dollar store is like 
my favorite place to get craft supplies. You can always find like such good stuff for such good prices. So looking forward to this October. Anyway, I'm adding more bows to those guys just to make them nice and symmetrical. Oh my God, ignore my hair rollers. I took a shower right before this, clearly. Um, but anyway, then I'm going in with, I think these are like stick on earrings probably um and then some like little fake pearls from the dollar store they usually come with like a bunch of gumming like um sticky stuff on the back so you have to make sure to peel that off and then just go in with hot glue to attach it because otherwise they get like this horrible little residue around them and i'm just applying like a little heart shaped pearl and then a little round pearl and then a really teeny tiny pearl to give it like a cute little design element and then I'm taking some of my um, screw on spikes and screwing them to the back so they get that 3d look I guess my camera must have skipped but I made more bows to add <laughs> to the sides of the shelf and then I'm attaching those little spikes and then I have these paper flowers that I got at the dollar store I think they're like paper roses they're really pretty and they have like a little bit of gold on them and I'm just attaching them in either corner with hot glue and since it was a little flimsy I just globbed on a bunch of hot glue to the back um, to make sure it stays on there and if I ever want to take it off I'll just peel it and it'll be super easy. Then I am prepping more of those little um, pearl stickers from the dollar store, um, getting the sticky residue off them and just applying them around the lace to kind of cover up some of the hot glue globs that were on there from you know, putting the lace on there, uh, but also just adds like a cute little shiny element, keep checking to make sure I like it, rip off the pieces of hot glue string since those are a very annoying part of working with hot glue, you can always go in with tweezers at the end, that can be helpful. And I'm just kind of trying out some different design elements, seeing what I like, seeing what I don't like, you can always just kind of place things to see if it'll work and then if it doesn't you know try it in a different spot it's all about experimentation I end up going with some just little black satin bows um, to go on either side of the bat I think it just gives it like that adorable look and then the black ties in with the bat and the spider web I'm adding some little pearl stickers or like I think they might be hearts actually just above the little bows and it's looking super cute but it is missing a bow on the bat I thought I added that earlier Eventually, the bat gets a little bow because he needs one. Anyway, this is the shelf um, empty in my bedroom um, on the wall, and then here it is decorated. Um, these are all my NK's ceramic um, cat collections, thrifted cats, all cute little cats from the thrift store. Um, so that's shelf number one. This was the sh first shelf I ever did. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope um, maybe it was inspirational at all. This one was very simple. The next one is a little more detailed. So if you're interested, let's keep going on to that. All right, so for shelf number two, we are starting by making and decorating all the little like accessories we might need. So I'm starting with some little handmade eyeball charms. So I'm taking some glow in the dark clay and rolling it out into little circles. I think I started by making like four or something like that and just flatten the back a little bit so it's easier to glue down and like because if it's fully round it's like a little bit more annoying to work with um, regardless make my four charms or like my four little eyeballs and when I'm happy with like the roundness I can move on to making some teeth so I just take little pieces of clay and kind of pinch two of the um, corners so you get those little like points in the teeth sometimes I pinch three because sometimes teeth have those like three points uh, but I just kind of go in there pinch and pinch until I'm like happy with uh, the shape that I have and then draw like a little cross on the top um, like that little X shape um, and the thing that's nice about making the clay teeth is that they don't have to be even because teeth are probably never the same so so these are also with glow-in-the-dark clay once I'm happy with the amount I have I just bake them in the oven according to the instructions and once they're out I can start painting them so First, I'm gonna paint the eyeballs. I'm starting by just putting either a blue or a pink circle um, for the iris in the center of each eyeball. Set that aside to dry. And then while the eyeballs are drying, I take just some red acrylic paint and water it down a little bit and then use it to just kind of get the top X of each tooth um, a little bit red so it looks like it's like been freshly pulled and use a tissue to kind of wipe off the excess so it just looks like a little bloody and blushed. Um, you could also use blush before you bake it and this would give the same effect. Um, I just kind of didn't think of it until after and then I thought that like bloody teeth would make it look a little extra creepy. So just adding that little bit of bloody gum looking stuff. I draw a little blotched circle in each iris to give it a pupil. So 
do that on each one, set aside to dry. You can see I have my beautiful five eyes. Then I take some red paint and a little bit of pink to mix it together. And I'm just gonna go ahead and draw some creepy little eye veins on all my little eyeballs I'm using a really, really thin paintbrush and just kind of drawing random squiggles. Um, you don't have to be super precise. Again, with eye veins, like probably none of them look the same or look even or look symmetrical. So it's really just about making it um, just making lots of lines. It's, it kind of reminds me of drawing trees, honestly. It's very um, relaxing and peaceful, uh, but you have to make sure that you don't touch the paint while it's dry. So um, yeah, maybe if you have like a holder for the eyeballs, that would be really helpful. Anyway, continuing on and just adding little extra details, little extra veins and such until I'm happy with all of them. And then I can go in and add um, the kind of lines around um, the iris of the eye. Um, so I just go in with my acrylic paint and draw those little lines essentially all throughout it. And then I'm also adding little shines in the eye and I wanted one of them to be heart shaped. So it's like heart shaped and then there's two random dots. Um, so I'm just adding all the details and that's what they look like. And then to make it extra creepy, I thought, um, you know, eyeballs are usually like glossy and wet looking. Um, so I'm taking some of my Liquitex. I usually use this um, on dolls, but if you don't have Liquitex, you can always just use like glue, like some um, clear glue that will dry kind of shiny um, to make things look shiny. But I'm adding, I think, three layers of Liquitex, um, waiting for each layer to dry between. Um, this is just like the gloss varnish. You can use whatever gloss varnish you want. I just have this one because of doll making. And yeah, I think that the shininess really adds an extra element and they look so much better shiny than they did matte. I'm really, really happy that I decided to um, do that as well. All right, then I'm taking a glow-in-the-dark rat that I got um, at the dollar store around Halloween, and I'm spraying it with some Mr. Super Clear so it will take paint easily because I want it to be black. So I'm going outside spraying that and then going in with my acrylic paint now that it has kind of a rougher surface. You don't have to use Mr. Super Clear. Again, I have it left over from doll stuff, but just some sort of like matte spray um, so that you get a little bit of grip on whatever plastic you're trying to spray paint will probably make things um, stick a little easier. Once it's fully painted, I let it dry and then do another layer and I'm pretty happy with it. So then I'm going in on these um, Halloween rings, like, you know, the plastic ones you get at the dollar store again, and I'm using some silver paint, probably from the dollar store, to just make them look all metallic and shiny. I might be using a little bit of um, tissue to kind of clean it off and make it like a little more rustic looking, but regardless, um, painting my two rings, setting those aside. And then these skeleton hands, I should have probably sprayed like I did with the wrap because the white paint didn't want to stick that well to them, um, which was a little bit annoying, but I was lazy and didn't feel like spraying them. So shame on me. I just went, these again from the dollar store from Halloween, I cut off the random little excess bit and then just go in with some white paint to make them look more skeleton-y and less like glow in the dark. Um, I'm probably gonna make earrings or hair clips out of these as well at some point soon because I have a bunch left over from Halloween, um, but I love these guys. I think they're so, so fun. So just painting them all over. Then I have these tiny little um, cherub charms. I think I found these at the thrift store and I'm just going in with that silver paint um, and again, just painting all over. I think they look good gold, but I've always liked silver better than gold because just like the cool color of it, like cool instead of warm. I, I really like co colder looking metals. So doing two layers of the angels. Then it's time to paint the shelf. Make sure you clean it first. Guess I didn't show this in the last one, but yes, I obviously, of course, cleaned it first. Otherwise you're gonna be like painting dust and stuff into your thing and that never looks nice. So again, same as always you know, do a regular base layer. Y'all know what that looks like. It's not that uh, magical or anything, but you know, do one of those, let it dry, and then do another one over top to make sure it's nice and beautiful and opaque. I am so happy that I have so much leftover house paint um, because now I have all this like cute furniture that matches my house. How, how precious. Anyway, then I'm going in with a doily. Um, I got this years ago at the dollar store, probably around Valentine's. So, hey, Valentine's coming up. Great opportunity to get paper doilies. Um, I'm just cutting a little piece of it off because it was kind of dirty from like sitting in my craft bucket, whatever, um, and then positioning it in the center. And then I go in with just some dollar store glue and a paintbrush, get that all nice and painted on and then stick it down in the center. This is one of those things that you don't wanna use hot glue for because it'll look lumpy. So um, like liquid glue, probably better for this situation. Um, 
So stick down the doily. I love paper doilies. I, they have like such a nostalgic like tea party feel to me and I love it. Um, then I'm taking some black lace from the thrift store from some leftover class project and just applying a teeny dot of hot glue all throughout um, the shelf um, corners so that the lace has something to stick to. And I usually go over those dots with like some pearls or like some little accent after so you can't see it as much. Uh, but if you are worried about this, as I said, like super glue or something like that that you have to use less of but will be very um, permanent might be something to look into. But I personally like the fact that I can change this up um, just by really easily ripping off the lace and restarting if I want to. Anyway, then I'm arranging all the little teeth I made in a half circle around the doily. Thought this kind of made it look like a halo or something, which I thought was like a fun idea. And I'm taking a broken string of pearls that's either from like the thrift store or like some old costume jewelry or something and I cut it to fit the shelf and then just use a little bit of hot glue to make it stick. I think that old jewelry, old broken jewelry has such great potential in DIY projects so um, always make sure to like not throw out old broken jewelry if you can because it can be repurposed so easily and it can be so fun. Then I plop a bunch of hot glue inside um, the spray painted rat or the yeah spray painted black painted rat and stick them in the center of the doily. I have this obnoxiously large bow that I made out of some satin ribbon and I stick that on his tail and then I have a little teeny tiny bow um, that I also made out of satin ribbon and I stick that as like kind of a collar. I think it looks so cute. I love the idea of like a rat with like a little bow. I think that's so cute. Anyway, um, then I'm taking those silver Halloween rings that I painted. I cut off the part that makes it a ring and I just stick them um, in the corners of the shelf. And then I'm sticking this little heart um, bead inside of each that almost looks like a candy heart. Um, I just think it adds like a little cutesy element. Then I'm trying to find a placement, a good placement for my little cherub angels and kind of just decide on the sides. So I glue those on. Then it's time to make more obnoxiously large bows to stick on the shelf kind of ledge. So I put one there and then one on each side. But before I do that, of course, the eyeball has got to go in there. So it's like one of those like scene kid eyeball bows. I think I watched, oh my gosh, I'll have to link the tutorial that I watched on how to make like eyeballs, bows for scene kids or whatever because that's totally what inspired me to make these and I was like oh my god yes those I, I, I always wanted those <laughs> anyway then I'm going in and putting those skeleton hands on they did not want to stick with the hot glue so I think I had to like glob quite a bit of it on but it worked out I'm taking some little pink glittery heart um gems stick on earrings crystals from the dollar store whatever and putting them on the ledge and then also these like little plastic cross charms from forever ago and then i'm taking more bows that i made sticking them on the side found some more bones that needed using so i decided to put them on either side then i'm taking some kind of frilly bows that i made and just attaching them on the sides of the shelves to make it extra frilly and cute and i'm um, putting like these little uh, bat sequins in the center of those bows i think the bat sequins really tie it together i love that so much um those are from the dollar store around halloween and then one of my favorite touches is these little like horse carousel charm things that i found in the baby section at the dollar store they're precious also adding some little roses um, from the thrift store on the shelf like the part that comes out <laughs> oh my god I don't know what any anatomy of a shelf is called but I'm just going in there oh yeah then I have all these like kind of multicolored pearls that I found on AliExpress that I thought were supposed to be flat on the back but in fact they're not beads and they're not flat on the back so they're just like pearls plastic pearls and I'm sticking them all throughout they're kind of annoying since they're not flat but whatever I think they look pretty cute I'm adding them on the bows and then just yeah making sure that I like how it's looking so far and I do time to add just a couple of extra elements so in go these little star beads I love these like plastic stars I've been meaning to make more bracelets out of them um because I do have a big bag of them but regardless that's what it's looking like so far and this is what it looks like hung up with nothing on it yet i think it's very very adorable very creepy very precious i'm obsessed with the fact that um the eyes and the teeth glow in the dark that just makes me very very happy and then for when it's decorated what i ended up putting on it was like all this really vintage um dollhouse furniture from when i was a small kid i got um someone's <laughs> my dad's like coworker gave him this like 
vintage dollhouse and it came with like all this like very adorable furniture he gave it to me and that was very very nice um and uh, it doesn't fit my monster high dolls but it does fit these sylvanian families that i found at the thrift store so i decided to put them on the shelf and i think it looks really cute and precious and all the little rabbits and mice look like they're having a lovely time on the creepy cute shelf in the vintage doll um house furniture i, I love this furniture set so much like with all the little rosettes and stuff it's just precious um so yeah and that is everything that i have for you today guys thank you so so much for watching especially till the end that like seriously means so so much to me i really really appreciate it um i hope you and all your loved ones are having a very very nice day or night or wherever it is wherever you are i hope you are well and i'm sending you a really big hug and yeah that's all i got for you keep being yourself and um i love you lots have a good one bye